Today, uh, actually good morning. Um, it's like 5.45 in the morning right now. I just got done doing dishes. I'm trying to be quiet. My wife and the little guy are sleeping, I'm waiting for them to wake up so I can finish some loud projects upstairs. But that's what America does. You know, we get up early and we get things done. Um, I want to talk to you today. I'm going to put uh, one of two videos. I want to talk about some Made in America products that I have recently purchased and or been gifted. So first one I want to talk about is these. These are Green Toys is the name of the company. Um, these are toys that are made in the United States out of recycled plastic. We'll get into those in a minute. Um, this is a package of clothes that I bought from um, All American Clothing in Akronum, Ohio. Um, so this video will be next after this one. Um, but uh, it's always, uh, in my opinion, uh, important to support American-made products when you can. So enough of that. We'll get just kind of get into the nuts and bolts of it. So these are two items that were given to me by, well, given to my son by my sister-in-law. Um, and pretty happy with them. More importantly, my son's very happy with them. He really likes this one. Um, but that doesn't really matter. So, long story short, Green Toys is the name of the company that makes these. These are supposed to be made in the United States. They are stamped on the bottom, made in USA, um, made in uh, of recycled plastic, and they are surprisingly sturdy um, for being plastic. I grew up in the hurdle generation with those uh, die cast farm all and uh, John Deere tractors that you could use to like take out intruders. If they'd have used that on a string instead of a paint can in Home Alone, those guys would have died on the stairwell right there instead of the rest of the movie would have ended. But um, I'm pretty impressed they're, for being plastic, they're really sturdy. Um, the, they're made in the United States, which is important to me. Those Ertl toys used to be made in Dyersville, Iowa, and I don't know if they even make die cast steel toys anymore. They're hard to find if they do. And I'm sure they're made in Bangladesh or China or somewhere not in the United States. So um, these people aren't paying me or anything like that because this YouTube channel is so small. I'm sure nobody outside of the seven people that watch it even know it exists. But um, So they're made in the United States. They're made out of recycled stuff. They seem to be really well made. You can check out the bins on that wheel. Oh, just stop there. Um, so they make more stuff than just this. This is all of what I have. My sister has um, some other stuff for her little guy that um, she has that are it's kind of the same thing. It's all this plastic stuff, but it's really well made. And all this stuff is dishwasher safe. So as I'm coming to you right now, middle of July in 2020, we're like hopefully at the tail end of the whole corona deal. But anyways, kids put everything in their mouths and um, don't tell my wife, but sometimes I forget to take my shoes off when I come in the house, so, um, you know. Plus, he likes to, like, put dirty food and stuff in there so he can toss these in the dishwasher and then they're clean. So, um, that is all. I'll post um, some links to the website or something. You can get more information on these if you want, but if you are shopping for toys for your kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, neighbors, random strangers who look like they deserve a pick-me-up, um, I would say give these a shot. I have no idea what they cost because they were gifts to my son, but I'm always encouraged to uh, support an American-made business. So until next time, stay American, buy American.